Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what a PDCA diagram is. The Plan, Do, Check, Act PDCA cycle, also known as the Deming Wheel or the Deming Cycle, is an iterative method for continual improvement of processes, products, or services, and is a key element of lean management. Now let's learn more about the history of the PDCA cycle. The PDCA, or Deming Cycle, was named after the American engineer and statistician Dr. W. Edwards Deming. After the Second World War, he was known for his work in the auto industry in Japan, and he championed statistical process control procedures. The works of Dr. Walter Andrew Schuhart, who published findings of a statistical method, influenced Deming. The Schuhart Cycle was the concept of looking into improving the steps of mass production processes, and the Deming Wheel was built off this concept and stressed that there should be constant interaction between sales, research, design, and production processes. Now let's learn when to use the PDCA cycle. The Plan, Do, Check, Act model can be used for a number of applications. It can be applied across industries and organizational types. It can be used for developing or improving a process, or to explore and test multiple solutions in a small and controlled trial. It can also be used for executing change and continuous improvement, applying total quality management or Six Sigma initiatives, and avoiding waste by catching and adapting ineffective solutions before rolling them out on a large scale. Now let's learn how to draw a PDCA cycle diagram. PDCA methodology is a four-step cycle. The plan establishes the objectives and processes necessary to deliver results in accordance with the expected output, the target, or goals. During the do phase, you implement the plan, execute the process, or make the product. You also collect data for charting and analysis in the following check and act steps. In the check phase, you study the actual results, measured and collected in the do phase previously, and compare against the expected results, the targets or goals from the plan step to ascertain any differences. In the act phase, you request corrective actions on significant differences between the actual and planned results. You analyze the differences to determine their root causes. Now let's learn how to create a PDA cycle diagram. Navigate to File, select New, and select Business from the list. Now click on Quality Management Diagram, and then choose Plan, Do, Check, Act. There you will find various templates of effective PDCA cycle diagrams to draw based on your requirements. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. You can directly drag the PDCA symbols as shown from the symbol library on the left into the drawing sheet as needed. To adjust a shape size, use the blue selection handles. Now, write inside the circular charting shapes by double-clicking on them. From the right pane, you can edit the shapes as shown, change the type of cycle, shape numbers, inner diameter, Interval, Initial Angle, Alignment, Arrow Style, Arrow Size, and Data. Continue drawing the PDA cycle accordingly.
You can make the diagram more visually appealing by changing the theme as shown. For a better view, deselect rulers and grid lines, and then select the From Current Page option to view the diagram in full screen. Now let's see more examples of PDCA cycle diagrams. Here's a process improvement PDCA cycle. This is a service improvement PDCA cycle. And this is a business continuity PDCA cycle. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.